Hello, my name is uh, Brett Palmer. I'm a doctor at the local sexual health clinic and uh, a few people have asked quite a lot of questions over the last few days regarding uh, warts and what they're caused by and a lot of people have been searching the internet so hopefully people will find uh, this video actually done by uh, a doctor working in sexual health um, as opposed to some of the uh, crap. Uh, found out there. So hopefully you'll find this interesting and informative. Uh, so uh, this episode is going to be about warts and uh, what causes them and how to treat them. And I'm going to try and give you the most succinct and uh, precise detail I can. Uh, so let's get started. Warts, what are they? Uh, well, uh, the little outgrowths um, uh, of the skin effectively are hard um, uh, layers and it's all caused by the human papilloma virus. There are 150 different types of human papilloma virus and you'd have encountered them before uh, in, in your life. So type 1 uh, causes verrucas, type 2 causes hand warts, uh, types uh, 6 and 11 causes genital warts and that's why people come and see me. Uh, and uh, type 16 and 18 uh, can cause uh, cervical cancer and there's 13 other uh, types that can cause uh, different types of cancers as well. Uh, the important thing is, is types that cause cancer uh, uh, do not cause warts and the types that cause warts do not cause cancer and so if you do have a genital wart you can if you wanted to just leave it because it will at the end uh, of the day uh, uh, the wart will drop off uh, and you will be able to clear uh, the human papilloma virus uh, of your own accord uh, over a period of uh, one two uh, if you're unlucky three years uh, people come to us because they don't like growths on their genitals and so you can freeze them off using cryotherapy. However, um, we do understand that people are concerned uh, about uh, general warts um, and uh, this hopefully this video will hope to uh, allay your fears. Uh, so in terms of the types that cause uh, the cancer, well in the United Kingdom and many other countries um, uh, uh, lots of people are being vaccinated against the cancerous forms of HPV and even in the UK um, so females are being vaccinated now at uh, school age boys will soon be starting to be vaccinated against HPV uh, so some of the more um, uh, common types um, and if you're um, a man who has sex with other men in the United Kingdom under the age of 45 you can also uh, be vaccinated uh, against uh, some types of the human papilloma virus. But the human papilloma virus, remember, is very, very common. Most people have had verrucas, most people have had hand warts at some time of, the, of, of their life. Um, uh, it does seem, though, uh, to me that uh, the people who do seem to get warts seem to suffer from either eczema, asthma, or some kind of what's called atopy of the skin. Um, and that's only around about 20 or 30% of the population seems to suffer from uh, warts at any one time. Uh, so they are very, very common. Um, some uh, sexual uh, health doctors uh, barely consider warts to be a sexually transmitted infection. They're so common, but unfortunately they are still classified as a sexually transmitted uh, infection. So how do you prevent them? Well, there is vaccination, as you said before. Condoms uh, can help uh, prevent warts, especially if the man's got them at the end of his penis. He can stop them, uh, give them to, to his partner. Uh, uh, condoms aren't fully protective, uh, obviously. Um, uh, if you do happen to uh, uh, catch warts, you have to remember it can lay dormant in your body uh, for many, many months. Uh, and so it's not guaranteed that you can say, ah, oh, this individual over here has given me warts. It doesn't quite work like that. Uh, so you may have got warts and caught the virus very, very recently. You may have caught it many, many months ago. Either way, come to uh, go to a sexual health clinic. Uh, they can usually free them off, freeze them off with cryotherapy. Uh, cryotherapy is just uh, liquid nitrogen, um, which is the main component of air, so it's effectively liquid air. They squirt on it. It goes very, very cold, and after a few days, it turns black, and hopefully the wart drops off. Don't pick. Don't scratch. If you do that, it may bleed. And wherever the blood goes, new warts uh, can grow. Uh, another thing as well to try and discourage wart growth is shaving and waxing. It's very, very common now, uh, especially uh, in people under the age of uh, 20 eight to 30, everyone seems to be waxed and trimmed and shaved to an inch of their life uh, down below. Um, uh, and
and that unfortunately can uh, that damages the surface layer of the skin and can encourage uh, wart growth. And so, if you do have warts, uh, don't uh, wax, shave. Um, uh, if you can, try and avoid them. Uh, if you need to cut your pubic hair, uh, just trim. Uh, you can do a heavy trim, that's, that, that should be fine. Another thing that encourages uh, wart growth is nicotine. And that's why smoking is not good if you have warts. Uh, smoking obviously uh, can increases your chances of 200 different types of cancers um, and it can also uh, damage the immune system. That's why it causes 200 different types of cancers. Uh, and so uh, stop smoking. Uh, and then uh, you'll get over warts uh, much, much quicker. If you are, are one of the unlucky few that have recurrent warts, uh, then again, go to your sexual health clinic. They can uh, not only freeze them off, they can also start you on um, some various creams uh, they have as well. So uh, don't uh, sit there in despair. Go to your local sexual health centre and get help. Okay. And if you like this video, uh, please uh, like and subscribe. And uh, if I get enough interest, I will do uh, a few other videos as well. So take care and uh, good sexual health. Take care.